What does the Bible say about worshiping Mary? What does the Bible say about worshiping Mary? Worship is a topic of fervent debate within various religious communities, particularly regarding Mary, the mother of Jesus. To understand the biblical stance on this, it's essential to delve into scriptures and traditions. What does the Bible say about worshiping Mary? What the Bible says about honoring Mary? Mary, undeniably, holds a place of reverence in the Bible. Her role as the mother of Jesus grants her an esteemed position within Christian traditions. How many times is the Virgin Mary mentioned in the Bible? While Mary's appearances in the New Testament are selective, her importance is evident. She is predominantly mentioned in the Gospels, being directly referred to approximately 20 times. What does the Bible say about Mary's death? The Bible does not specifically address Mary's passing. Traditions and apocryphal texts fill in this gap, but they aren't part of the canonical scriptures. Does it say anywhere in the Bible that Mary is without sin? The concept of Mary's sinlessness, or immaculate conception, isn't explicitly stated in the Bible but is a belief upheld by many in the Catholic faith. Bible verses about Mary's intercession intercession, or the act of intervening on behalf of another, is a nuanced subject when related to Mary. Why do Catholics ask Mary to intercede? Catholics believe that Mary, being close to Jesus, can intercede for them, just as they might ask a friend to pray on their behalf. Where in the Bible does it say to ask Mary to pray for us? The Bible does not directly instruct believers to ask Mary for her prayers. However, the tradition is rooted in the idea that saints can intercede for the living. What is the intercession prayer for the Virgin Mary? This prayer, often known as the Hail Mary, seeks Mary's intercession. It's a staple in Catholic devotions. Why we should not worship Mary while Mary is revered, the Bible emphasizes worship should be directed to God alone. One mediator 1 Timothy 2 5 states that there's one mediator between God and humanity, Jesus Christ. Worship only God The Ten Commandments caution against idol worship, emphasizing God's uniqueness. Mary praying to God, upper room in Acts 1 14. Mary is seen praying to God, indicating even she sought divine connection. Mary needed a savior Luke 1 47 has Mary referring to God as her savior, underscoring her human nature. Mary worships pagan origin There are arguments suggesting Marian worship has pagan ties. Catholic pagan syncretism Some argue that early Catholics incorporated pagan elements to make the religion more palatable. Mary is Ishtar and Isis and Mary and early icons connections have been drawn between Mary and ancient goddesses like Ishtar and Isis, especially in iconography. Similarities between Isis and Mary both figures are seen as mother figures, leading to comparisons in roles and reverence. Is it a sin to worship Mary? Direct worship of anyone other than God is considered idolatry in biblical terms. Idolatry and blasphemy misdirected worship can be deemed idolatrous and blasphemous, leading one away from God's intent. Pagan similarities drawing parallels with pagan deities may lead to questioning the nature of certain devotions. FAQs. What does the Bible say about worshiping Mary? Is Mary considered a deity in the Bible? No, the Bible does not present Mary as a deity. She is honored as the mother of Jesus, but there is no biblical mandate to worship her as a god. Does the Bible specifically mention the worship of Mary? The Bible does not provide any passages that directly advocate for the worship of Mary. Worship in the Bible is consistently directed towards God. What does the Bible say about Mary's sinlessness? The Bible does not explicitly state that Mary was without sin. The doctrine of the Immaculate Conception, which suggests Mary's sinlessness, is a teaching of the Catholic Church and not directly taken from Scripture. Are there biblical verses where Mary is prayed to or venerated? While Mary is held in high regard, particularly in the Gospels, there are no verses where she is prayed to or receives worship. Does the Bible differentiate between veneration and worship? The Bible consistently directs worship toward God. While respect and honor can be shown to individuals, worship is a unique act reserved for God. What role does Mary play in the New Testament? Mary is prominently featured in the Gospels, particularly in the accounts of Jesus' birth, early life, and at the crucifixion. She is revered as the mother of Jesus. Are there any biblical passages where Mary intercedes or acts as a mediator? The Bible does not depict Mary as a mediator in the same way Jesus is described in 1 Timothy 2.5. However, the wedding at Cana in John 2 1-12 shows Mary bringing a concern to Jesus, though it doesn't depict her as an intercessor in the spiritual sense. How does the Bible view idolatry? The Bible is clear in its stance against idolatry. The Ten Commandments, particularly the first two, emphasize that God alone should be worshipped and that idolatry is forbidden. Is the veneration of saints, including Mary, biblical? The New Testament acknowledges saints but does not provide directives for their veneration. The practice of venerating saints, including Mary, has historical roots in church tradition rather than explicit biblical mandates. What does the Bible say about Mary's role in the end times or her heavenly status? The Bible does not provide specific details about Mary's role in the end times or her status in heaven. 
Most references to Mary are in the context of her earthly life and her role as Jesus' mother. Final thoughts While Mary's reverence is widespread, it's vital to discern between veneration and worship. The Bible, being the cornerstone of Christianity, offers insights and guidelines on this delicate matter. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family. View all posts.